We need to talk about the Miami Dolphins putting 70 on the Denver Broncos head and all of the things that scoring 70 in an NFL game means. First up, Mike McDaniel. He is that dude. But that doesn't mean that Dolphins owner Stephen Ross didn't try to ruin Brian Flores' career, chasing Joe Burrow, Tom Brady, and the man that just got 70 dropped on his head, Sean Payton. That's not something we can excuse. But maybe Mike McDaniel can. Just look at the development of Tua Tagovailoa. He took the offense from 25th ranked in 21, 6th in 2022, and this year they're first by a long shot, and the defense hasn't fallen off at all in yards allowed. Mike McDaniel's credibility is set in stone. You have to score to win in the NFL, and a game like this on the back of the season he had last year just ensures that he'll be employed in this league as long as he wants to be. And at a minimum, this dude is the next North Turner. Next up, Tua. He is enough. He can run this offense, and he can run it as well as anybody you might want to be in his position, as long as the offensive line can keep him healthy. The Miami Dolphins have been desperate for a franchise quarterback since Dan Marino as much as any other franchise over the last 30 years outside of the Chicago Bears. And even though Tua has had some good games in his first four seasons, there was always that little bit of doubt. But 70 points? Plus the fact that he's on pace for 5,800 yards? It should put all those doubts permanently to rest. Third, Sean Payton hates Russell Wilson. He has to. If you have a franchise quarterback, Getting franchise money, you protect him. Trotting this man out in the second half down 50 points is embarrassing. It means that you don't care if you lose him. And if it's really like that, get on the phone with the Jets and start the process so you can move him and score some assets and just maybe get the Dolphins back for this game by giving their division rival Jets a chance to win this season. Fourth, Vance Joseph has to go again. Sean Payton making the decision to bring in one of the least like head coaches in Denver Broncos history to be the defensive coordinator was a head scratching move, just like it was for Vance Joseph to accept the decision. Denver Broncos head coaching history is a long list of extraordinary winners. Red Miller, Dan Reeves, Mike Shanahan, John Fox, Gary Kubrak kept this franchise relevant for an overwhelming majority of four decades. A lot of Broncos fans believe their downfall started when Vance Joseph was first hired and having him around again in charge of the unit that just gave up a historic number is a true exercise of hubris for Sean Payton. And finally, the last thing that we learned from this 70 point is that mercy is worse than death. Mike McDaniels, a former Denver Broncos ball boy that didn't get an interview from his hometown team in 2022, had the ability to break the NFL record of 72 and decided that it didn't fit with the message he was trying to send to his team. This man said we have bigger goals than setting records in the middle of a modern record. That's a whole different level of viciousness because the only thing worse than giving up 70 is having to carry the knowledge around that it could have been worse, but the team doing it to you decided that they felt sorry for you. 10 touchdowns with a side of pity? Let that sink in.